distal esophagus is bathed in acid reflux over a long period of time, it is thought that the lining of the esophagus changes. And the lining of the esophagus, which is normally what we call a squamous epithelium, uh, converts into what is called an intestinalized epithelium, one that resembles the more distal parts of the GI tract, the stomach, the small intestines. This is not something that happens overnight. It probably happens over years. And that's the reason why it's the patients that have reflux over years or persistent symptoms of reflux that we are the most concerned about. It's estimated that 20% of the American population has experienced symptoms or frequent symptoms of acid reflux. If you were to endoscope that 20% of the American population, probably somewhere between 12 to 15 percent of patients with frequent symptoms of reflux would be noted to have Barrett's esophagus. Um, to our best estimates, this is probably around 1 percent of the American population. The good news is that the majority of patients with Barrett's esophagus will live their whole lives with their Barrett's esophagus and it will never affect their life expectancy. In a very small percentage of patients, probably about half a percent to 1 percent per year, uh, esophageal adenocarcinoma or cancer will arise from the Barrett's esophagus. Esophageal cancer is uh, one of the most rapidly rising cancers in the United States today. It has undergone a 300 to 400 X increase over the last three to four decades. And uh, while the reasons behind this are not entirely understood, we believe that this might be due to increasing levels of obesity in the United States. Um, increased weight gain, in particular what is called increased central adiposity, weight gain uh, in our abdomen actually is associated with increased levels of reflux. Um, an increased incidence of Barrett's esophagus, and subsequently um, an increased incidence of esophageal adenocarcinoma in the United States today. So to the best of our knowledge, we believe that the rising rate of esophageal cancer in the U.S. today, specifically esophageal adenocarcinoma, is due to basically increased levels of obesity in the American population.